My name is Logan Ireland. I am a senior airman in the United States Air Force and I didn't tell my age. My name is Logan Ireland. I'm 27. My name is Logan Beck Ireland. I'm 27 years old and I'm a senior airman in the United States Air Force, currently stationed in Kandahar, Afghanistan. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you. Your hair looks good today. Your face looks good today. <laughs> <laughs> How's the wedding planning going? My cousin's gonna be doing the cupcakes like we wanted. <laughs> so exciting. But tell me about your deployment. Every time we go to a different location, there's always a whole bunch of kids around. And I had my sleeves yeah. rolled up, and they were pointing to my tattoo, like they wanted to see it. I pointed to the ring, and I said, Madame, and they, they get that that's my wife. And then they wanted my ring, go go figure. <laughs> like, no. I love you. Love you. So what did your commander say? She like all surprised and stuff. My commander was a little surprised when when I told her. I mean, she didn't really seem too phased by it. I told her that I was transgender, that I was assigned female at birth. Um, this deployment has really opened up a lot of doors for me um, and other transgender members that are trying to serve in silence. She seemed all for it. Well, my mind is completely wired like a guy. Every everything I think about, operate my mannerisms. It's completely male, 100 percent. So we have four bathrooms, and basically everybody just pairs up with one. There's three right here. Do the light one. And this is the one I usually use with one of the other guys. And it locks. Has everything you need. But I just keep all my shots in here and put them in a safe container for afterwards. It's very inconspicuous. And in case somebody was to go in there, I have my prescription already put in it. So they can see that it's legal. There's not a lot of people that know that I'm transgender. It's very much on a need-to-know basis. Um, currently in Afghanistan, there's only a handful, and those people are of higher rank than, of course, the people that I came here with from my home station. How often do you give yourself a shot? Um, so it's every Friday. When the other guys ask me uh, what being transgender means, I basically say that it's just being assigned female at birth. Your mind does not uh, come in alignment with your body. After doing it every week for over three years, you just kind of get used to it. And that's it. What I like about this deployment is I can be my authentic self. I'm just another guy. Whereas back home, I'm still seen as female and I go by female regs and standards. Here in Afghanistan, a war zone, it's like a vacation to me because I can be myself in such an austere environment. I will need to tell uh, my commander back in Altus that Look, I am transgender. I stand to lose everything. I stand to lose my career, my future, my foundation. It takes away the service that I've done um, and that I feel very proudly um, to have accomplished. It takes all that away. Hello? Hello? Hi, is this Lauren? Yeah. So, um... The boys just landed in Dallas maybe about 30, 40 minutes ago and they're gonna, they're getting ready to board soon. Once Logan 
messages me, I will message you two to let you guys know when they've landed in Lawton. And then, um, and then we can go from there. Okay, that's good. Okay, well, I will talk to you later. All right, thanks. Right, thanks, bye-bye. Bye. The wives and, and girlfriends of some of the troops that he deployed with, they've been nothing but wonderful throughout the entire uh, deployment. Funny thing is that they don't know. They, I'm sure that they know about Logan being transgender, but I'm pretty sure, and I'm almost 100% sure that they... They don't know that I'm transgender. Um, my name is Leila Villanueva. I'm in the United States Army. I'm a healthcare management administration specialist. Been in the military for 12 years. It's a long time. And I'm stationed in Honolulu, Hawaii at Triple Army Medical Center. When I first moved to Hawaii, I had a, a supervisor who I was able to go to. And as long as I came to work and I did what I needed to do, it was perfectly fine. Um, since then, I've, I've changed supervisors. It's, it's a problem. I've been, I've been asked to correct um, the patients and let them know that they can't use female pronouns. But that in itself causes uh, confusion. The patients are like, what are you talking about? That is a female. No, what that mean? is a mammal. Okay. Yeah, please let me know when you guys are getting ready to like get on the bus and head over. Okay. Okay, I love you. Love you. Bye. That's the bus, Layla. I always joke around to my friends, you know, that, you know, my lesbian daughter ended up turning out to be my straight son. <laughs> I have a lot of gay friends and even several gay cousins, but transgender is just not something I've ever heard of. So he had to educate me. <laughs> my, even my, my closest friends at work I don't know. I mean, we're mechanics, so everybody's got their opinion. They know. You know, my daughter's in the military. It took me a while to come to this point. You know, this didn't happen overnight. I mean, uh, th through uh, the growing up years, and when I finally realized the situation, I was just like the guys at work. Same attitude, same, you know, even if it was my son, daughter. You know, I, I, it was hard for me to accept. But the bottom line is this is an American going fighting for your liberties that you have here. I don't care what gender you are. So we go in, and he's like, hey man, I just wanted to just thank you for everything you did in Kandahar. Um, we heard really great things about you, and the first sergeant told me about what's gonna be going on with you. Like, He's like, we have your back 150%, whatever you need to do, do it. 
he's like, okay, um, your blues, they, you're not wearing them, are you or are you not? Because you have female blues and those are way out of standards for you. You need to get rid of those. I'm like, no sh <laughs> So that means? That means that I get to go buy male blues. <laughs> oh, that's exciting. That oh my so god, that's exciting. so exciting. That is so exciting. My heart is like pounding really fast. I I got so excited, like, because that's huge. This is a first to my knowledge. You're Yeah. Yeah, you're telling me to to screw dressing and now I'm going by male dress and appearance standards too. So I don't have to grow my hair out. <laughs> and I can have a mustache. <laughs> Because the military is such a manly environment, it is way much more difficult for, for women to transition than it is for men. Her unit does not support her whatsoever. They see her as male. They make her use the male restroom. They have her going by male regs and standards. You know, people, people think that we're different or sick or whatever their, whatever their, um, their opinions are of us, but we are people too, you know? We live our life and we get married like anybody else. And we want kids and we want a house and we do our jobs. And in that, um, there shouldn't be any problem for us to serve openly. So. There are a lot of transgender troops. I mean, there's over 15,000 of us, but I know a lot personally. They're getting discharged left and right, and these are good people for the military. You worked alongside of me and we served, we went outside the wire together, we had each other's backs together, right? So you didn't see me any different then, don't see me any different now, and please change your opinion on others like me.